Keeping the city safe, that is the mission of the Tucson Police Department. But could TPD be facing a recruiting crisis that undermines their ability to put enough patrols on the streets? Now your side's Valerie Cavazos reports. It's like a perfect storm. An unprecedented mass exodus of more than 100 officers this year has created a recruiting crisis at TPD, a basic staffing challenge the police chief says TPD has little control over. You're coming at a time now where the whole profession is under attack for whatever reasons. The ability to draw good applicants that are willing to put up with all of the things that this job entails. Adding to the challenge, the struggle to get high quality candidates through the door. That pass all of our testing requirements, the psychological, the written, the physical fitness, the oral board, all these different things, and then the background investigation. Via Senor has taken aggressive steps to find new recruits, even going out of state. But those extra efforts take extra money that Councilman Steve Kozacek says was stripped away from TPD's budget. We haven't planned for it well. And so last year we had $3 million in the police budget that was unspent for recruiting and retention. It is totally unacceptable, Val, for uh, the city staff to sweep that from TPD. It needs to go back into their budget. Not later, but now, he says. Right now, they can't wait until October to start recruit this recruiting process, or, or even July. Was the $3 million moved to the general fund? The city manager's office tells me they're looking into it. Valerie Cavazos, Kagan 9, on your side.